Hey guys, this is Colin here with Print Your Mind 3D and today I'm going to show you how to swap out your tool head on the Lulzbot Taz 3D printer. So the genius guys at Lulzbot actually came up with a really clever design to make it really quick and easy to switch between a whole bunch of different tool heads to do different things. So you can swap out between things like the dual extruder for dual extrusion, uh, the more extruder to print really quickly, or the arrow extruder to print flexibles. And today in this video I'll show you how to go about the process of actually changing out that tool head. So let's jump right into it. So you're gonna need a couple things before we get started. You're gonna need the 2.5 millimeter hex key that came with your printer. You're gonna need the screw that actually holds your tool head into place. You're gonna need the tool head itself. In this case, I have the standard uh, version 2.1 tool head that came with the Lulzbot Taz 6. And then a USB cable you're going to need this at the end of the video. I'll show you how to go about updating your firmware to your new tool head. One of the first things you're going to have to do in order to get started is make sure that your printer doesn't have any filament in it. So right now I'm just going to take out the filament that I have loaded in my printer. So there's a couple settings you're going to want to take note of before we actually go ahead and change the tool head and I'll show you how to find those now. So on the machine we're going to go into configuration, advanced settings, probe Z offset. You can see right now mine is negative 1.15 so you want to write that down or take note of that. And then the other one that you're going to want to take note of is your steps, your E steps. So New tool heads will actually have the recommended E-steps written on the back of them, but the printer from the factory, if you have the standard 2.1 version tool head, you'll just want to make sure to take note of this for when you switch back. Next, we want to turn off the printer. So now we're going to go ahead and actually take off the tool head, and there's two parts we need to take off. One is a power cable here, and then the second is a screw here. So I'm going to start by unplugging the power, then I'm going to remove the screw. And then the tool head will come right off. Next, we're going to get our new tool head that we want to put on, and you want to line up the bottom of the groove on the tool head with the mount here. So it'll actually just slide into place. Then we take our new screw, slide it in. And so you just want this to be finger tight. Then we plug in, plug in the power. So if you put it on correctly, it should be fairly snug on there and the two lines on your power cord should also line up. Now you'll want to connect the USB cable to your printer and your computer and then power the printer back on. So once you have Cura open, you're gonna come over to settings, printer, add printer. So currently I had the more Struder uh, selected here in Cura, and so I'm switching back to the standard tool head. So I'm going to select Add Printer. It's the TAS 6 with the single extruder. So I'm actually just going to also name this Single. Add the printer. Here you just select Finish. And so once you've added the printer, now we're going to come back over to Printer manage printers and you can now see that I've selected and added the TAS 6 with a single. So manage printers, upgrade firmware, and this is going to make sure that it's asking you to make sure that you've recorded your e-steps and your z offset because you're going to have to put those in again after. So then you select automatically upgrade firmware. So once we've done our firmware update we want to go back and make sure that our settings are Correct. So we're going to go in again to configuration, advanced settings, probe Z offset. You can see that was changed. So we're going to 
adjust that back to a negative 1.15 that it was at before. And then the other thing you have to adjust is your E steps. And so again, depending on the tool head that you have, you may need to adjust this up or down. But I know for mine, the standard uh, version 2.1 tool head has E steps of 830 from the factory. So you can actually find the e-steps written on the back of your tool head when you purchase a new one. And then for your factory single extruder, if you contact support at lulzbot.com and you give them your printer serial number, they'll be able to give you the number of the e-steps when it left the factory. So now you know how to change the tool head on your Lulzbot TAS 6. If you're interested to buy a TAS 6 in Canada or any of the tool heads available, it's a fantastic machine and it's really modular as you can see being able to switch between all the tool heads, head over to printyourmind3d.ca and we'd be happy to help you out. So thank you guys for watching and be sure to tune in for our next video. Bye for now.